Hi everyone. I just finished a wonderful six day I class. It was an amazing course. We had uh, deaf ladies there. We had people who were legally blind, people who are sighted. It was so nice to meet some people who took that class again and again. Like my friend Richard. Richard came to me with a major loss of optic nerve. He was born with it. And yet, he was so ambitious that he became a photographer. He couldn't even see color, and yet he was one of the best photographers around. In fact, take a look at my book, Vision for Life, and you can see what wonderful pictures he can take. Now we met more than 20 years after we started our work together. And I must tell you, when I like a person, I'm always looking forward to meet with that person. Richard used to live in that time in Washington State. And from time to time, he came to me for four or five days of intensive therapy. And I was always looking forward. Now, many years later, as he hit his 50s, his vision is better than it was in his 30s. His vision has improved in leaps and in bounds, and he can drive. We're talking about somebody who considers to be legally blind. He's one out of so, so many examples that I have. In that class, I had also somebody who had muscular dystrophy of a different kind. It's a mitochondrial disease that leads to dystrophy of the chest and also of the eyelids, where she couldn't anymore close her eyelids. Can you imagine that? That was a terrible thing. The eyes were dry. The vision wasn't as acute. And with the work that we did of massaging around the eyes, Three double sessions I had with her, two and a half hours each. And the sixth-day eye class, she came and told me, finally my eyes are tearing, I do not need the artificial tears, and I can blink. And one of the most important things that happened to me was during a disaster. One of my good participants, who came all the way from Brazil, fell down from a bunk bed and injured herself miserably. With her osteoporosis, she broke some of her bones. And I'm praying for her, and my friends are praying for her, because she's going to go through a major surgery tomorrow. And I just went and visited her in the hospital. I felt so bad that right after the visit, I fell down myself, I guess out of sympathy, something I never do. But I wasn't injured. She was injured badly. And the one thing that amazed me, she said, Mayor, I was injured. I can't move right now, and I hope the surgery will help me move. But my vision had improved, and I'm keeping that improvement. And that was amazing to me. So when I train people to do my work, I train them in two ways. A, to work on themselves. And those of you who are on a mission to improve yourself or a family member, that's a great class for you to take. But when I train you to work with others, I train you to work on deep awareness of the body that you transfer to other people. You see, my wonderful patient only saw me for a short moment with osteoporosis where the bones decay already with neurological problems over eye problem that she had. We weren't ready yet. Have she taken my classes? And as you take my classes, there'll be few things that you'll be able to accomplish. The number one thing that you can accomplish when you take my class is not be vulnerable to injury as much as you would be otherwise. 
I've met a person that fell from a seven-foot ladder and became paralyzed for the rest of his life. And yet, I met a person who fell from a third floor, something like 22 or 23 feet high, cursed, hurt for a week, and nothing happened to him. When people are drunk and they want to commit suicide from the Golden Gate Bridge, legend says that they normally don't die. Only those who know that they jump die. Well, understand something. When you're loose, much less can happen to you than when you're tight. So in the class, we teach you how to see better from a sense of neutrality. We also teach you how to move better. And the training course is your vehicle for much, much better movement and vision. And that's why I hope so many of you will take it. It will be a life transformation. A short segment now for those who want to take the whole training, part one and part two. So we divide part one into two parts. How to work on better digestion with massage and with movement. How to work for better vision. How to work for better breathing. How to work for better movement, better spine, stronger muscles, stronger nerves. All that is in the class. And what you learn from it is how to live fully life. Again, to be so resilient that falling will mean little to your body. That the same accident that could hurt someone else for life will hurt you for a short period of time. And you do that by learning to use muscles you never used before. Breathe deeply. Breathe slowly, in and out through your nose. Feel how your lower back and your abdomen feel in when you inhale, how they expand and how they shrink. You learn that in my class, while you use muscles you never knew you had, and you feel such a relief and so much strength to meet your life. Many blessings. Talk to you again, Mia.